תאמין את תאמין שיכולים לתקן אם אתה מאמין שיכולים לקלקל Thank <laughs> you. 
השם ישמור לך מכל רע, ישמור את נפשך, השם ישמור צאתך ובואך, מעתה ועד עולם. אוי שיר למעלה
רוצה לזכות לתשובה, אני רגיל באמירה תהילים, כי תהילים מסוגל לתשובה, תהילים מסוגל, מסוגל לתשובה, תהילים מסוגל לתשובה, תהילים מסוגל, מסוגל לתשובה, תהילים מסוגל Lichuva <laughs> Chuvah, 
תסתכל אני על העולם בדאגה איפה הגאולה כמה דמעות מן העיניים שוברות לי את הלב כמו גשם משמיים אני קורא יומם ולילה מחפש את ידך, מחפש למצוא תשובה אנא השם אל תעזבני תצילני, אבא, אנחנו בצרה. אוי קיילי, אוי קיילי, למה עזבת אני? רחוק משועתי, עברי שאגתי. עזבתני, חוק משועתי, עברי שאגתי. I feel alone in all this darkness, trying to be alive in a world that's cold and heartless. I look around and all I see is fear, so many broken hearts. Oceans full of tears I'm calling to you yet still you hide I'm calling to you don't you hear my cries Oh no Hashem Altaz Veni Please come and save me My arms are open wide Hey, Thank you. 
כך שמולד היה
שאג בקול גדול אין שום ייאוש, אין שום ייאוש, אין שום ייאוש באוי למפלג אוי רבינו שאג בקול גדול אין שום ייאוש, אין שום ייאוש, אין שום ייאוש באוי למפלג מצווה גדולה להיות בשמחה, להיות בשמחה
ואומנם, ואומנם כבר ידעת שהנרצה יותר בעבודת הבורא. יתברך שמו. ואומנם, ואומנם כבר ידעת ואומנם, ואומנם כבר ידעת שהנרצה יותר בעבודת הבורא יתברך שמו וחפץ הלב ותשוקת הנשמה וחפץ הלב ותשוקת הנשמה ותשוקת ותשוקת הנשמה אוי הנשמה
Mistress Rebbe. Thank you, Derek Hachim, for the powerful niggin. And welcome all to our Hilula for the Piaz Zetzner Rebbe. Autonomous Kalman Shapiro, Zechat Sadi Vikadosh Lavracha. A night like this could never be without the most wonderful, dedicated, and passionate Chevra. It's an honor to even say their names. Yaakov Schmuckler. Yaakov Schmuckler. Yitzhak Mordechai Feder. Dov Perkel. Dov's characters of inspiring and motivating have never been more on display. Word has it that Rebbe was carrying cables on the, to the trail on Thursday morning. <laughs> Menachem Lewin, Aaron Rosenthal. You guys are great. Sam Gross, Jay Gelman, Benji Davidman. And for the help setting up the base, Medrash Dov Menachem, Rebbe. Eitan Begenzo, Avi Hoshendler, Eitan Agbashaw, Shmuel Sklar, Chaim Shrek, Shmuel Satimus, Nasi Abrams, Yehuda Klinkwitz, uh, Natalie Begenzo, Allison Perkel, and Lonnie Zoldin for helping tonight. And thank you in advance to all who will emit Mir Hashem help with the reset tomorrow morning after the 9 o'clock chakras. <laughs> and thank you to our selfless security crew tonight. Yeah. Ezra Polanski, Ephraim Nutman, and Adam Amrani. Tremendous Yashikar to Mayor Kalka, sponsor of tonight's Ilula and treasured friend of our Kahila. Your brilliant creativity always helps take us to that very different time and place, which with Hashem's help, with Rebbe's help, we are all trying to reach tonight. Thank you, Baruch Schwartz. You've been with us now for so many special nights, and we're so happy to have you back again tonight, bringing your special sound and chiyas to the Hilula. Yashikar from Nachum Dinowitz, Rebbe of uh, my Eilig Svi Hirsch over here. Woo! And dear friend for sponsoring the water tonight. Being handed out, Lila Nishmas' mother, Rachel Yenta, Bas Moshe Cohen. Uh, special is a tonight, the beautiful cup, beautiful new couple, Klaus and Kal, Dvorah and Nasi, taking a break from Shavu and Brachas to share in tonight with us. And to our sweetest friends, Yehuda and Elki Stern, Hashem Shabenchi, with much continued Nishanachas from the new couple and all your precious children in the best of health. Amen. And to tonight's Yilula sponsors from the depth of our hearts, the outpouring of support and encouragement for this, one of the most meaningful nights in our calendar. The yard side of the tzaddik, of Kulonis Kalman, of Piazzetz, and the Eish Kodesh, Zechut Tzaddik of Racha, is such a chizuk to Rebbe and all of us who try to hold on to the coattails and help Rav Weinberger bring his message of comfort, inspiration, and joy to Yidin here and all over the world. Tremendous Yashikarach, thank you to the Weinberg family, Jeff and Sharona, Lilo and Nishmas, Jeff's dear father, David and Yosef, Yard side, Boba Yom, Carmeli and Rendler families in memory of Ruchoma Yochevid. Ataron, Zechel Laracha, Yartzeit Bobayom, the Shuckman family for Rafu Shlema for Ochol Yisrael Hamid. Thank you to the Goldman family, the Kedusha Slave Yitzchak from Chestnut Hill, Cynthia and Harry Kadowitz, the Zechel Nishmas Avram Zev and Mordechai and Lana Bas Meir Yitzchak, Ari and Danielle Wickets in honor of the incredible energy of H. Kodesh and the amazing leadership and guidance of Rebbe and the Rebbe Thank you to Stephen and Tavor Baracha of the Garna Tax, Resolu Ta Tax Resolution Center. From Alex and Esther Shulman, Rufu Shlemer for all those in Ewan, Aaron and Sarah Greenblatt, Lazech and Nishmas Yimim of Asavram, Yossi and Ronit Rosenfeld, Nana, Rebbe, and all the other Rebbe and Rebbe Kodesh who continue to inspire us and help lift us up. Uh, anonymous, please, Hashem, Rufu Shlemer, Yisrael Chaim ben Yehudas, Daniel and Amy Gibber in honor of Rebbe and Rebbe, and for Rufu Shlemer for Fred and Bas, Malka Sara, the Elisha's family in honor of Rav Weinberger with sincere gratitude for the beautiful Torah and teachings we learned from the Rav, Cheryl and Donnie Allenberg in honor of our friends Lonnie Zoldin and her husband. Thank you, Donnie, so sweet. Tara and Elliot Blumenthal, as close for our children, Miriam Michal Elias, and honor of Rebbe, Dr. Tzvi and Bachev and Ness, and honor of Rebbe, and Rebbe, thank you for being our inspiration. Beverly Henry Shachar, the light spirit and warmth of the Tzadik, Kuskun Elenu, permeates our base medrash, the Rebbe Shlita and his Torah, Eliza Moshe Pilevsky, in honor of Dov Perkel for saying nice things about me. Laura and Dov Elias, in honor of Rebbe, and Rebbe, and Rebbe, Vashi and Benji Fish, in honor of Menachem Lewin. Anonymous in honor of Rebbe Nish Kodesh, Parajews.com in memory of the Ish Kodesh, Columbus Kalman Shapiro, Grand Rebbe of Piazetzna, the Parajews.com, get inspired and inspire others. Thank you, Simi. Thank you, Simi Aviva Zionishik. Thank you, the Garfinkel family in honor of Rebbe. Racha and Guy Orman, thank you, Hashem, for all the love, chesed, and decent that you gave to our dear son, Aaron. Kalman and Ayala Goltz in honor of our children, Avi, Tehila, and David. Brianna Carmona in honor of the Piazetzna Rebbe, Zech Lerach and Rebbe, and Rebbe Tzimarmager. Rivka and, Mor Rivka and Maury Sports, in honor of the first yard set of Nanu, Malka, Fatah of Noach, Mandy and Lieber Freelander and family. In honor of Rebbe, 
Yermi and Rivka, Rivka Boyd, Mepur Shlem, Rafael Alexander Ziskin, Ben Miriam, Baruch Ross, with love to the entire Kahila, Amy and Moshe Weiss, Zech and Nishmas Avram Yaakov, Ben Meshulam Dov, and Terebi and Revitz, who infuses with the fire of the Ish Kodesh, Cheski and Adina Wortman, in honor of our children and grandchildren, Avi Estes, in honor of the hard work of our president, Harry Hershkovich, the Hershkovich, the Hershkovich family, Leeloy Nishmas, Howie's dear mother, Leah Sar Bazev, Leslie Scar, memory of Rachmiel Ruben Ben Alexander. Thank you, Keith Moskowitz. Thank you, Michael Brach Avram. Thank you, Eitan and Elisa Feldman. Eddie Bentilliad, in honor of Rebbe and the entire H. Kodesh Kehilo. The Labra family, Leo Nishmas, Leah, Dina Baschaim, Shlomo, Ephraim, and Jessica Nunn, Leo Nishmas, Jessica's mother, Chana Basaro, Zech Lerachim, Father May, Ben Moshe, David Zech Lerachim, and his chus of all the learning and davening in our Kehilo help her have Elias Hanashama. The priest from family, Leo Nishmas, Yisrael David, Ben Aaron Mordechai. And on behalf of the Chavra, with much appreciation, a happy birthday to our very own Rev. Yoni Levin. Simcha Bratz, Kracha Atzlach, until 120. Thank you all for sharing this night here with us and to those joining on the live stream. Good luck. I want to, I also want to thank all of the, the sponsors, all the chevra that helped those beautiful names of so many wonderful friends. The schus of the tzaddik should be to bring all kinds of refuas and yeshuas to those who need. And the Mr. Shem, we should be zaycha, all of us, to be good health and to forbring, this for bringing together in Mr. Shem, next year it should be in Yerushalayim. Amen. A while ago, by Shalashudas, he was saying, Eilu Becha Eilu Yaisef Imanu. So I had this thought when we were saying those words, when we were singing, Eilu Becha Eilu, that there's so many things that happen during the year, good things and things that are difficult, there's so many things during the year, Eilu Becha Eilu. But Yosef Imanu, oh, Hasha. <laughs> yeah, that's the thought that I had. I know it's a little sacrilegious, it wasn't true. That's not what it really means, but I, I had this thought. That Yosef Imanu, Yosef Imanu, that, that Yosef is back with us. And uh, it's a very long time. It's a long time that we're together. And it means a lot to all of us. These Nagunam and Nagunam that are taken down from a very high place. You understand this is not uh, regular, regular music. This is something else. Baruch Hashem, also, we have such a schus. Yosef worked together with, with our Cheva on the, on, the, uh, on the album, Only You. And I just wanted to tell you the good news that Bez Hashem, we're working on the second album of the Nigunim of Michal Shapiro. It's very, very remarkable. <coughs> Nigunim, I hope that Yosef will join us, Bez Hashem. We can speak to us real games with uh, Yitzhak Mordechai Feder about, about uh, the plans, Bez Hashem. Hashem <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to speak about the Rebbe. Every time I see that, it, it opens up many, many things. Lots of memories, lots of crying, but a lot of other good things as well.
What is it about this tzaddik? Not just this tzaddik, but here, of course, we have a special kesher, and it's, it's growing all over the world. This is kashas to the, to the tzaddik, Rabkonimus Kalmish, Susi Elayim, the Yesh Kardish. So in Derech HaMelech, was a drosha that the Rebbe gave Parshish Yisro Torf Reis Tzadik. So before, before the clouds descended upon that world, upon the entire world, Kinoidish Anishmas HaTzadik Yibchinas Av Lishar Anishmas Yisro. The soul of the tzaddik is the father of the souls of the Jewish people. What happened? What happened to the Rebbe? You know, there's all kinds of questions about whether it was Dal Cheshvan or Hey Cheshvan. So now we're Dal and Hey. And they used to say that he was killed in Treblinka. We now know that he was not killed in Treblinka. It was Travniki, it was outside of Lublin that the Rebbe was killed. But before I continue with the Rebbe's words, there was a Yid by the name of Yisrael Kihan, who was by the Rebbe many times when he was growing up. And a few years ago, there was a sefer that was put out. And in this sefer of the memoirs of this very special person, in quite a few places, he spoke about the Rebbe. Then afterwards, he was interviewed. So before I continue with the Torah, of how the tzaddik is the father of the neshamas of the Jewish people. This is an excerpt, an English translation. The Germans used the Jews as slaves in their factories until their strength would be spent. And then they would transfer them to death camps. Rabbi Kalonimus was taken from the ghetto to a shoe factory. I'm sure that you all know the Schultz shoe factory. He was there with the other great Sadiq, serving the German, the German army. The Rebbe's light even penetrated the hearts of the non-Jews, and the factory supervisor understood that there was a good Jew. Even the non-Jews would refer to a tzaddik, to a Rebbe, as a gitayid, a good Jew. So even the non-Jewish factory supervisor understood that there was a good Jew among, this, among, among the slaves. He decided to protect him and his group. Every few days, the Nazis would come to take a group to its death. The supervisor, however, would protect the Rebbe and his group, saying that they were good workers. For a few months, the group worked and would also serve Hashem led by Rebbe Kalonimus. The Kajal giver was also there, other tzaddikim. One day, the supervisor was not at work. The Germans came and took the Rebbe and his group to a death camp near Lublin. The next day, the supervisor came to check up on the good Jew and discovered that the Rebbe and his group had been taken away. He decided to endanger himself to try to save the Rebbe. As a worker in the service of the Reich, he was able to use his travel permit to reach the death camp. So this, this non-Jew went looking for the Rebbe. He found Jews who were already without clothing on their way to their death. He identified the group 
but did not see the Rebbe among them. Where is the Gittayit? Where is the good Jew, he asked them. The others, the Jews, were stricken with fear to see that the Rebbe was not with them. He was just here, they said, in amazement. At that moment, the order came, and the group advanced to his death without the Rebbe. When Rebbe Yisrael finished telling this story, he said, every person can think what he wants. What do you think, asked one of his listeners. Rebbe Yisrael had a hard time answering, and then his eyes filled with tears. In a trembling voice, he said, those who knew the Rebbe know that the wicked ones could not harm his holy body. He, is, he surely ascended to heaven in a storm. So where is this tzaddik? Was his body also, did his body also end up in the crematorium? In those fires, or did he ascend in a fire to Shemayim, like Elianovi? So listen, let's continue with this time. Listen carefully. You answer the question where the Rebbe is, right now, at this minute. <laughs> The soul of the tzaddik gives life and light and sustenance to the souls of the generations. Every Jew has his and her own personal neshama. But tzaddik neshma But the soul of the tzaddik is not only for himself. Back neshama the soul of the tzaddik is not only for himself, it's to illuminate the lives of all Jews. The Rebbe, the Rebbe writes, doesn't everybody know? That the Balsham HaKadosh and the Tamriya Balsham, Loy La'atzman Bilvad, they gave light to all those who attached themselves to them. And not only at that time and for that time. Even for us and for all future generations. Taru, Kidshu, Veheiru. They purify, they sanctify, they illuminate it. This is called the light of tzaddikim. This is called the ur of the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh. This is called Irish al Mashiach. Ur at tzaddikim loy la'atzim levad haya, rak l'chol ha'olam. K'mar ha'shemesh, shemei ila olam. Just as the sun shines for the entire world, just as the sun shines for the entire world, but only the one who opens the window, only, what, only the person who opens the window will be able to feel, will be able to feel the warmth and see the light of the tzaddik. The Jew who opens the window to the light of the tzaddik, that light is sheifeyala. Whoever draws himself near to these tzaddikim, the Rebbe was writing about others and it's about him. Mishimakarvis Atzmo Aleim, Masikidushu Nishomi Yaserim and Orat Sadikim, 
is able to be lifted up to a place way beyond himself. If you attach yourself to that tzaddik, you're able to be transformed. You're able to be uplifted by that tzaddik, even though he's no longer in the world. Even now, but, God forbid, if a person distances himself from the tzaddik, if a person lives his life with the windows shut, then the light of the tzaddik ascends from this world, then it cannot be a part of this world. He brings the night of Gavishna, because your sight was Gimbal. Because a neshama, a soul, cannot be part of this world unless it has a goof, unless it has Jews to cling to. The soul on its own, even the soul of the greatest tzaddik, cannot be part of this physical world without Jews to attach itself to. It has to connect to this world. When we are miskarev to the tzaddikim, the rabbi writes, when we draw ourselves close to the tzaddik, when we open the windows of our lives, to the light of the tzaddikim, to the neshamas of the tzaddikim, nasim onu guf, then we become the guf. We become the receptacle, the kli, the guf, the body. And by doing that, the light of the tzaddik penetrates into this world through those windows that are open and enters into the goof of those who draw themselves near. And we become the goof. And then the neshamas and the ur and the kedusha of the tzaddik is with us. We in love and if we don't, nishmeseyem nishara is below goof. If chas v'chalili, we don't open up the windows, and when I'm as carved to the to the tzaddik, then the neshama of the tzaddik remains ethereal, floating, b'loy guf, without a guf. V'oylay islamala. So where is the rabbi? He disappeared. Nobody saw him being taken into the gas chamber, and nobody saw his holy body being burned. And I believe Ben Munashlema, and it's all that has kept me going all of these years. that the Rebbe is here with us, not only here in our place, but, but the Rebbe is with every single Jew everywhere in the world, and the other tzaddikim as well. The Rebbe is, is here with those who have opened the windows to his beautiful Tyra, to his beautiful face. to his music, to his poetry, to his life, to his mysterious nefesh. Long before the Rebbe's world was destroyed, and my parents, the parents and grandparents, long before their world was destroyed, there was a marble. And we read and we lived through the Mabul today, this morning.
And there was a tzaddik that emerged from that mob, Baguf. There was a tzaddik that came that survived. And how did Noach survive? Forty days had passed, and Noach opened up the window. Noach opened up the window to Hashem's light. What did Noah see when he opened up that window on that day? And as the Rebbe wrote, that entire generation was afraid to open the windows of their lives to the Ur of Hashem. And Noah the Tzaddik was that one person who before the marble, then following the destruction of the world, opened up the window to that light, to that Ur of the Baal Shem Tov to the Ur of Hashem, to the Ur of the Tzaddikim, to the Ur of Yushalayim, to the Ur of Mashiach. And what did he see when he opened that window? What was in that light? What does it mean? What is that light? What's the light of the Rebbe? In all chassidus we use the word light, or, or, or. So the Torah said already about Noah from the beginning. That he was different. And you and I can be different also. And we don't have to live through a marble or a holocaust to be able to feel this light. It says, at the end of Bereshit, the world was falling apart. The world was crazy. The world was, the world was, was on the verge of destruction. And there was this one person regarding whom it says, and the English translation of that that we all grew up with, and it says, and Noah found favor or grace in the eyes of God. Noah Motzachein bin Asha, which is a very fancy way of saying that Hashem really liked him. And that term is found in many places in Tanakh, Kiyadua. This is the first place. That means this is its headquarters. But if you think about it, if we're talking about how much Hashem liked Noah, and Noah must have chayin b'nei Hashem, it should really say, v'yimsa Hashem chayin b'nei Noah, that Hashem saw something very beautiful in Noah. And that's how Noah survived, right? So it should say, v'yimsa Hashem chayin b'nei Noah, that Hashem saw, the, and Noah is b'chayin, you look at a child, chayin. You look at somebody that you love, there's so much chayn. So Hashem looked at Noah, Noah is filled with chayn. Therefore, Noah was chosen to be different. He would make it, he would survive. But there's something much deeper here, because it does not say, Vayimsa Hashem chayn ben Noah, it says, Vanoach matzah chayn ben Hashem. That means that on a deeper level, it's not talking, the Pusik's not talking about Hashem finding something in Noah. It's talking about Noah finding something in Hashem's eyes. See, I'm right now, I'm looking at Jeff's eyes. Jeff's looking at me. You know what I see in Jeff's eyes? Not just Jeff. I just like we just did. 
Es ist für das Jahr Zeit. I see in Jeff's eyes that he loves me. Am I being presumptuous? <laughs> I can't say that about everybody here. But I know this guy for a long time. And I see it in his eyes. And I see it in the Jew that's sitting next to him. Next to him. I can't say that. None of us can say that about everybody that we know. All a child is looking for when he or she looks at his mother. Imatsati chen be'eneha. You understand what that means? All I'm looking for in Jeff's eyes is to see that he loves me. All the, all her, all the wife is looking for when her husband comes home and their eyes meet at the dinner table. Imatsati chen be'eneha. When I look into his eyes, do I see my chain? Do I see my chain in his eyes? Do I see my chain in his eyes? When Rus, when Rus said to Boaz. She was saying, in your eyes I see that there's something special that you feel towards me. In Kedusha, it was a very holy thing, we don't understand it. And she said, I, I, I'm amazed by that because I'm such a plain person, I'm a stranger. And the tzaddik always walks around, all that Sadiq wants to know is that when he opens the window to find Hashem, to see that art, to see that light, and he looks into Hashem's eyes, that when he looks in Hashem's eyes, he sees himself in Hashem's eyes. It's not about Hashem seeing something in Noah. It's about Noah finding himself in God's eyes. That's very, very different. There are many lonely children in the world who when they look in, look in a parent's eyes, all they see are other things. Distraction, the reflection of the phone, anger, disappointment. And those are the children of the world who don't make it, who don't survive the flood. The children of this world who survived the flood of being in such a Michigan of hell. I know how my father spoke about his parents. And my mother, she should be one of long years, the memories that she has of her home and of her parents. The last time that she looked at her mother when her mother was being taken from her and their eyes met. And that look that she had with her mother has kept her going to this day, Mr. Shem, many years beyond. That ki ayin ba'ayin. Because when she looked in her mother's eyes, when the Nazis were pulling her away, she saw her mother's love for her. The children are looking for that in their Rebbe's eyes. And there are some who are so broken and so, and are so hurt that over time they just shut the window and walk away. There was a, a great Jewish poet by the name of Rachel. Maybe I shouldn't be quoting it uh, this time, but. So what are, you gonna, what are they going to do, do to me at this point already? You know? <laughs> Listen to this line. I, I'll, I'll read it. She, was, she probably said in Ashkenazis. So I'll read it in, in Ashkenazis and in Sephardi. Rak zois li es toiv be'enach. Zaka upshuta kimei ha'ovar. 
Tova, Tova Beinecha. Rak Zos. In Ivrit. Rak Zot. All I want is this. Leo Tov Beinecha. All I want is to be good in your eyes. Zaka Upshuta. Pure and simple. Kimeha Avar. How it used to be. How it once was. Tova Beinecha. Rak Zot. Shamata. Tova beinacha, ragzot. That's all. When you're connected to a tzaddik, I'm talking tonight about this, his kashras to the Eish Kaidish, to the Chavis Talmidim. And my own personal feelings of why I wanted the shul to be named after that tzaddik. And what I can share with you what I feel that that tzaddik has done for me. There's something about those eyes. There's something about that person. The eyes that saw everything going up in flames. And there's something about those eyes. And everybody has the tzaddik, the tzaddikas that you connect to. I'm not saying it's only the rabbi. There's something there that when you look in those eyes, you see your own chen. You see that a picture of yourself that could be better. You see a picture of yourself that's cleaner. A picture of yourself that's pure. A picture of yourself, the way the Rebbe, the way that Sadiq looks at you. That's what happens when you open the window and you look into the eyes of a tzaddik. And that's the ur of the Baal Shem Tov. That's the light of the Baal Shem HaKadosh. That's the light of Mashiach. Mashiach Sekena will be able, even the biggest Russia who ever lived, the biggest Russia in the world, will be able to stand before Mashiach and will be able to find himself, who he really is, that little boy that never sinned, that little boy who never was happy with his sins. That little boy who always felt horrible doing those things. That little boy who wanted more than anything to be a Jew, to, to be innocent, to be pure, but didn't know how to find his way back. When he's going to stand in front of Mashiach and he's going to look, look into Mashiach's eyes, that person, let's say his name is whatever his name is, Yankel, or Yankel Mozart Chain Bein at Sadiq. Yankel Mozart Chain Bein at Mashiach. Yanka will see his own chain in the eyes of Mashiach. So Rabbeinu, Rabbi, where are you? You disappeared. Someplace near Lublin, you disappeared. And the screaming and the noise with the dogs, with the fire, with the beating, with the, with the screaming and the crying. You disappeared. The chassidim can believe that you went up in a chariot to Shemai. But as it's in another old story, I believe that the Rebbe went much, much higher than that. Much, much higher than that. You know where the Rebbe went? He went to us. It's much higher than Shemai. He went all the way, all the way to us. 79 years after they shechted him. He's still looking for us. and he still, he still sees good in us. And he's begging us to look into his eyes and to see how good we could be. How good we really are. So instead of ending with this story, I'll end by reading you this little thing. Some of you, many years ago at, at one of the shul, Malavim Malkas, we gave out to the Chevra an English translation of Tzav Vizirus, the Rabbi's journal, they call it. This was translated by Yeshua Starrett. And he writes a beautiful introduction to the, to the translation of Tzav Vizirus. 
And this is what he writes at the end. And this is how I'll end. Holy Rabbi Colonymous, more, what more can we say? Can we at least say that we follow your teachings? You cried over the Jewish people during the war. Where are we, the Jewish people, today? Where are the true Hasidim, the type you wanted to make, lovers of God, of fellow Jews, and of all creation? Where are all the spiritual seekers who so followed you? Did they all go up in flames together with you? We have been so busy since the war rebuilding the Jewish edifice. We have built many yeshivas and filled them with students and books. But Rebbe, you ask us, have we filled them with God also? What can we answer you, holy Rebbe Kilonymous? You have already answered this as well. We shall study your works, your spiritual classics. We shall practice them in our lives. We shall yearn for a Rebbe who could personally guide us through the pitfalls of the spiritual life. We shall feel the deep pain of lacking such a mentor. We shall feel the loss of your guidance in our lives. And may this vacuum that we feel at the core of our souls reopen the channels of your soul as we learn. May our longing for you, Rabbi, especially tonight, may that longing that we have for you, may that longing open up a place for you to enter into this goof into this body of Am Yisrael and Tavshin and Pei into us, into our lives. And may this vacuum that we feel at the core of our souls reopen the channels of your soul. May your soul then in some hidden way come to guide us and enlighten this dark night of our souls. Hashem Zabok should help. I told you some years ago there was a there was a chassid, a very chassid, a yid, a chabad chassid, a Menachem man. I don't remember his last name. And he was very excited. He lived in a village that wasn't so close to Lubavitch. But for his bar mitzvah, his father brought him to have yechidus with a tzemach tzedek, exclusive get line. And in order to prepare for the Yechidis, he came to Lubavitch in order to prepare. He spent the entire year learning day and night, davening, mikveh, a little kid, a 12-year-old boy getting ready for his bar mitzvah. You hear this? I, hope, I don't know if there are any ki little kids here. And then when it came to the week of the bar mitzvah, when he was in Lubavitch, he fasted the entire week every day. This little boy fasted every day, the entire day, to prepare for Yechidus with the Tzamech Tzadik. And he was shaking like a leaf. Can you imagine? And he went in by himself, not with, not with his father. And he came into the Tzamech Tzadik, and it was dark in the room. And the Tzemach Tzedek was where he was sitting. There was a leichter. There was a, there were candles, there was a candlestick. And the Tzemach Tzedek motioned to the boy to come near. And the little boy could barely move. And he inched his way to the table where the Rebbe was sitting. And the Tzemach Tzedek took the menorah, that candlestick, and he put it between him and the child, and he looked in the child's eyes, and he said, Yiddish Teg, and Chassidish Anacht, you should have Jewish days, and Chassidish nights, and Chazak Teva Yisela Ish. This is the light of the tzaddik that we need. Le'ish Rabbi Freimel said that the ish is the ish is ein shum yeish la'ila. 
We need the light of the tzaddik who can fill us with that confidence to hold on the last few minutes of the marble. Yiddish attack, Nechassidish Anacht. The Chazak Tevehi Yisela Ish. To hold on the last few minutes until Mashiach comes. And we'll be able to dance to the light of the Menorim Besamekdish with all the Tzadikim, Shekitsu, Vyanu, Kitsu, Hakitsu, Rana Shaykh Neofa, the Gula Shaba Mitis, and Chiesa Mason, Behem Yamin, Amen, Amen. Tamar Yifrach, Ke'eretz Balvanon Yisger Tzadik שנים ורננים יהיו להגיד כי ישר השם צורי ולא עוולת הבוי ניי 
צדיק, כת המעריפה, ארז בלבנון, כארז בלבנון יזכה, צדיק, כת המעריפה, ארז בלבנון יזכה, או, שתולים בבית השם, בחצרות אלוקינו יפריחו, או, ינובו בשיבה. שיינים ורעננים יהיו להגיד כי ישר השם צורי ולא עמלת אבות די נא 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 איך עצרות אלוקינו יפריחו, עוד ינובו בשיבה, בשיינים ורעננים יהיו, להגיד כי ישר השם צורי ולא עמלת אבות איתן כץ, מידס, עושים מידס, קאפל סונג, לכבוד הצדיק, לכבוד... Thank <laughs> you. 
יחד יחד, 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 יחד יחד.
Ay, ay, ay. 